Hey everyone. Let's do this. Good morning. All right, time for the second Hitman Friday of my return to Twitch. And we have two more levels left of uh, Hitman 3. Uh, last Friday we played through four of them. Uh, the stream went for a bit longer than I had planned uh, as we had a few issues with uh, the, the Chinese level. But we're going to get straight into things now. We're going to move over to mission number five. I have never seen it before. I have no idea what we're in store for. And uh, yeah, we'll just get straight into it. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching, feel free to jump in the chat um, and hang out for the for the next few hours. Hail. Let me know if everything's coming through nice and clearly. Seems like it from my side. And let's switch to the main screen. Okay, so story. On three. It's weird that there's no sort of continue button, but whatever. Uh, so we will start with this one. Not sure if we watched this last time. We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of them have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. Last he mission, we uh, be exposed all of ICA's you, data. We basically hacked into could. their mainframe and I'm released missing. everything. 47 has one weakness. Me. Alrighty. Let's do it. We might have watched this one as well. <laughs> I found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Okay, this is new. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. There was a vineyard level She's infiltrated though. in Hitman Blood Money. She's sending a message. Huh. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Alrighty, so we've got to actually meet up in the meat space with Diana and get her trust, I guess, figure out, ascertain her allegiance. All right, um, no targets listed. However, in the Berlin mission that we played last week, we didn't have any targets at the start either. So, we are going to take a lockpick. Um, the Mark III, fancy. We'll take some coins. They're handy to have in our pocket. Smuggled items not going to be available for first playthrough. And standard gun. All right. Let's go. Hmm. 
There she is. Right. That's easier than I thought it would be. Best of humor me. Yet likes his little games. That's the Don't be potential long. target we talked with. No, we saw her in the video, sorry. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Hmm. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. <gasps> Human contact. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. My goodness. Argentina. All right. Oop. <laughs> Good texture. All righty. I wonder how much of this is, is level versus background. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, so just that little bit in front of us, mostly. It's going to be... The mansion or whatever it is. Six levels. Holy moly. Underground layer. Okay, wow. Like I said, we'll talk again when it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going. Do not eliminate Diana. All right, yeah. Some mission stories, which you might naturally drop into. All right. No special conditions. Got my trusty camera. Okay, let's go. Hey, Dagalan. Welcome to stream. Game us. Ready, Pam. Three, two, one, and for more than two decades. Jeez, can you believe Ooh, these people? Hey, asshole! Jeez, can you believe these people? <laughs> Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, F from the firm. I came Security. Yes, this is the to the parking. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thank you very much. Oh, and the little on screen notification shows up. Thanks for testing that for me. <laughs> um. Where are we facing here? Okay, so that's kind of off. Just to that bit there. It took so long, but I've had to access our remote server to print everything, and I couldn't get my VPN to... Is this the way in? Sir, this is a restricted area. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like he said. So what's the invitation for, then? Oh, here we go. May I see your invitation, please? Yes. Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. Looking good, man. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh. Thank you. So, you must know everything that goes on. In the Care to give me a lowdown? Let's see. Most of the guests have already arrived. And let me tell you, it's like a Forbes 500 convention in there. Most are high-profile clients of Morgan, Yates and Con. But the Yates are still no shows. Worthies, they're still up in the house. They haven't made an entrance yet. Curious. Mm -hmm. Any idea why? Well, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but... 
Word is that Yates was in a great mood this morning, but that all changed when the letter arrived. The letter? Yeah, an honest-to-God letter delivered by courier. I mean, who writes letters anymore? Anyway, it must have been bad news, because Senor Yates heard the plant off the balcony. Big everyone, too. It almost hit Isabel, one of the I'm mates expecting. who had to go lie down. All of this information from picking up this drink. The party is not the only thing happening at the estate. The winery is open for guests, too. You should check it out if you're interested in wine making. It's harvest season, after all. I might just do that. Thank you for your time, Miss. Right. Pleasant evening, Senor. Excellent. <laughs> Can we? Can. Can we? Yes. I dare say congratulations are in order. Hi there. Close Hello. Cool, though. I was third in the line of succession after Robert and Sierra. The asado. Oh wow. Okay. Really is Argentina, huh? <laughs> okay. Hello, sir. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. Hello. Busy area. All right. Where are? Okay. So the one of the targets is essentially where we are, but lower Why do down. You have to be such so a we'll baby all the time? Hello, go sir. straight there. Swap. Okay, swap with an explosive or electrified microphone, I guess. There was one in the first Hitman, uh, in the Bangkok level. You could take, go, take it up to the recording studio and sabotage, cause an accidental kill there. Close. Gates wants us out of the way. Okay. There's a reason ah. we're the only heralds going on this tour of his. He's buying time. Oh, wow. Uh, the question is, for what? Greetings. I wouldn't be surprised if he considers me a threat. But is he bold enough to defy Edwards? He'd be a damn fool. But they don't call him cojones for nothing. <laughs> I need to inform Edwards. Let him know something screwy is going on. Don't. I know how to deal with the likes of Don Yates. The one we need to worry about is Corvo Black. Yates Fixer. You know him? I see a regular. I always suspected oh, he was a middleman for Morgan Yates and Co. Hey, Alright, I'm gonna look around a bit more. They seem to be moving pretty slowly. Uh let's see what he's got to say. First time at the estate. Could you show me the lay of the land? Certainly, senor. This is the visitor center. On your right is the tasting room, where we have a lovely selection of house cabernets. Upstairs is the dining and bar area. And over to your left are the bathrooms. If you peek over the railing, you can look down onto our state-of-the-art fermentation area. You can't go down, though. A staff only, I'm afraid. Thank you. Most helpful. My pleasure. Okay. So there's some there's an enforcer over here. Which I guess means they yeah, they know forty seven. Who is that? They know forty seven and Oh, there's a opportunity involved with them. Warbo, so got a message from the boss. Okay, it's the fixer. Let me guess the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign in. The Shit, we've got to blend. We've got to blend. Can we blend? Have a drink on my behalf. Don't drink. Nice a private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Cool. All right, we're gonna follow this. Disguise yourself as Corvo Black. Okay. See where he goes. All right, he's going that way. Cool. Blending options. Mr. Yates, 
Aha! Yeah. I think we've got a Ruben in the chat. Thanks for the follow. Nothing quite spoils a party like your guests inexplicably. If I come to Spock's Cup's mind, on the tour or after. Hey, man. You, f you, uh, you join us two-thirds into Hitman 3, so I don't know if you were planning to play it. Expect some spoilers if you're planning to. If not, uh, thanks for joining. Oh, you got a code? Alright, well, I'll understand if you decide not to stick around. But yeah. It's a good game. I'll say that. <laughs> I'm more of a beer man myself, but if Yates wants to bring the heralds closer together and play the uh, modern boss, I, no, no problem. I don't actually mind. I just never framed an urban legend before. Very These guys are very uh, accepting of my <laughs> presence in the middle. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I say Yates is at the top of the All right. So following an opportunity, we want to take this guy out so we can dress as him. Well, the opportunities to dress as someone, they are always, they always basically the same character model. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so. See where he goes over here. A push would work, but there's too many people looking. It's too big a risk, I think. Fuck it. Body's found already. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let his body get found and packaged up. That was a fall, wasn't it? Oh, that guy's vomited. That guy really. <laughs> okay, is that the one person that saw? No, shite. Okay. Yeah, he's dead, mate. Okay, she's gone that way. That person's looking the other direction. Yes! Alright. We are... a step ahead. Alright, we're going to listen to this because this could be for the other target. These fermentation tanks are accident prone. Mm -hmm. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This has happened before, provoking an appearance from Don Yates. It's likely to happen again. Okay, hold on. That one's for Yates, and this one is for Vidal. Cool. I forgot whose surname is who. Okay, Vidal is the, the woman, so we're going to follow this one first, and then we might come and draw Yates out with the wine. Make him go, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you get that reference, hands up in the chat. <laughs> Otherwise, I just look stupid. <laughs> well, that was already the case, but... Hey, Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. Join the other guests. Excellent. That's a long way away. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate from here. How are we getting down there? Oh, this test. Okay. <laughs> Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. 
He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except hey, done. for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. That's a boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Infiltrate. Counterintuitive as that may be. The great field. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. So I can't. So I can. Yo. What? Okay. Okay. Don't come around here again, okay? Mali. I'm good then. Cool. All right. Johannesburg. So this is fine then. Oh crap. Oh dear. Really? <sighs> this seems like a rough Because okay. I can't see through that Ooh. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give him a grand tour. Remember? If I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends, it's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yez doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Uh huh. Don't follow this guy, do we? Surely not. Oh, we do, don't we? Come on. Disguise yourself as the winery worker. Yeah, sure it's thing. Another man's picking now. Woo! Aye. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Can I put him somewhere? Yes, I can. Why the great picking knife? I thought. Oh, I see. All right, got to look out for enforcers, but we're way freer to walk around here. That's awesome. Okay, there's one enforcer on this side, one on the other side. So we're just gonna pop the fence. A new knife for my collection. Harvest three ripe Malbec grape vines. Can I fail this by not picking ripe ones? Jeebus. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I love that as well, mate. This is a weird objective for 47 to have. What the hell? Alright, I guess we turn this on, see if anything changes? Hey, Sue. I didn't do now it's yeah Ruben if you were if you were worried about spoilers I guess this isn't one of the bigger <laughs> one of the bigger ones you're gonna have to pick grapes and what was that is that another one of these things oh it's a shovel 
Come on, what the hell? Is it on the map? Grape shed. Never say no to a, a good brick. Huh? Maybe it's over this way. Oh crap. Okay. <laughs> Ah, these are different. Malbec, what is Malbec then? Should I know what kind of um, grape that is? Oh, Malbec Field, all right. Can I take this one, mate? Please. No. Okay. Quieres un peso? Oh, another knife. <laughs> Shit. Gently, gently. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Hmm. Ah, there's more here. All right. Cool. Mr. Vargas, yeah. I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. I did it. Now, let's see. Only inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Sweet. Can I wreck your suit doing that? Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Oh, I got to disguise myself back, but then I can duck out over there. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, we're in business. That was a tangent. Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello. Yo. Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I. Uh, We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. Yeah. In fact, nice. we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Double figures in the, in the so stream. How do you Decent. like Argentina? Hey, like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor. Oh, in the chat itself. Cool. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during the harvest season, Graves do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Let's go. Are you a wine man, Black? 
somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to a vineyard before? Only on business. Oh, this is down Next below. Next one on okay. tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, Oop. do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Ask questions. Oh, okay. Where do we want to go? The presser. Ho 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 ho! That what can you tell me about looks like this a device? Great presser. Was Opportunity. It? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add that grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes mm -hmm. with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. Oh. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh. Go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Oh. Nervous. Oh, fuck. Hey. Thanks for chatting. Take care, so. May uh, I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. No. Uh, so, this is what the little guy feels like. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, good. Looks like one for the mantle. Anything else you wish to know? There's really no trouble. No! No! Okay, I guess I missed that. Shit. Can we ask about this one again? I was distracted by the chat. <laughs> uh, all right, we are gonna go check another contraption. Let's go up here. <laughs> I'm interested in these containers. Ah, yes. Our large fermentation tanks are constructed right. from solid French Focus. oak. I need contain up to 500 gallons hey, of Brenna. grey must. Interesting. How you doing? Are those cooling sockets? They are indeed similar. Enjoyed our battlefield fiver yesterday. Great fun. Entire process. The temperature, humidity levels, etc. Our goal here at Pineda Yates is quite simple. From a state of the art wine making facility to our carefully Woo. nurtured grape stock. Hand picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose to make the best Venus in Argentina and beyond. Well, looks like an accident waiting to happen. Occupational hazard. Abermwood? Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Have a look. That was a that was a ragdoll. Just gonna get out of here. All right. Your colleague, urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Thanks, Tana. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her way out. Let's proceed. Whew. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? 
You might say we run in the same circles. Play a cool oh, 47. Must be very exciting. Don't it's about appear shocked and drop out of the tour. And so we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. Mm. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. The key to unlock doors and machinery on the winery production floor. Okay, I've ah, got that. Here comes Hang on! Shall leave you in this capable. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get together up at the house. Just a Modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration is constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now. I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your. Services later. Okay. I'll be closer than you think. <gasps> oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Oh, it's poison. Ooh. Hang on. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Is this a different mission story? That's broken because I don't need it anymore. Is it over the top? A worker. No, wait. Let's go back to the other one. What's going on here? Ah. Flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? What? Did aliens land on the front lawn? <laughs> Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perot <laughs> unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. A meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Some type of celebration. Likely a gathering of heralds. Come to congratulate Yates on his upcoming promotion. Diana's presence. A calculated risk. Just fetch it already. Fine. Okay. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on uh -oh. you. Who's in here? Oh, people that aren't going to like me going in there. Oh. Damn. Uh, is there anything else we can do in here then? Shit. Or just a screwdriver. <laughs> okay. Sure. There's none conveniently around it, around there. Shit. How do I explain myself if someone sees me getting out of here? Alright, well there's no one there. So looking for a screwdriver. Okay, there's two ways into that room.
Ooh, we're allowed in. Now, the temperature and humidity in sure. the room is all controlled by the ventilation system. Yes. Highly safe. Sweet. Yes. I'm a bit of a Ooh. Ice monkey to an access. Ooh. Control terminal is open security. Ventilation system poison. And a fuse cell. Screwdriver? I think it is. Thanks. <laughs> Whoop. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna open both of them. You never know if I'm gonna have to run the other way quickly. Let's go this way. Did this do anything? Oh, we can go up from here, I guess. It's just the 1945 Grand Paladin. It is perfection, irreplaceable. You don't drink the 19. Five Grand Paladin any more than Oi. you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Ugh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value. Is there a way? I am sorry, but to cloud. Yes. What if we exchange the labels? Served him a different wine. Ah. Uh, I think we're gonna go for a little but double if Mr. hit. Yates wishes to Bang! Bang! Because we don't care about a looser target. We care about noggin smashing. And what a throw it would have to be to knock someone out with a can. This won't kill him. It will just hide him whilst he's sleeping. And we will disguise ourselves as Solmerier. Hey Bob, yeah, you're you're late, but so was I. So you haven't missed too much. Lasers. How can we disable the lasers? Oh, with the button. Um. What's what? <laughs> what was the last year of World War Two? Nineteen. 40. <laughs> I don't know. I can trouble. Sh I can. I can brute force this. It's still going on. That's the real answer. It was 1945, which is also the year of the the wine. Oh my god. This is probably a vintage year. Was the name of the wine yard level in, in the vineyard level in Hitman Blood Money. I will give you one dollar. All right, head to security. Talk to head of security. Can we put this down and like poison it? Pinot Noir. I'll back. You know what? I think these are. Can we just take his? Yes, we can. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. 
Shine flowers. Guests are waiting. Let's see what we got. So we've got one can left. And then we have brick. We have six. Thirteen. We got nineteen bottles plus the special one. So we can knock out every guest with their own bottle. Nice. Can I have any enforcers? I imagine so. Someone's gonna know what this guy looks like. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I'm gonna need to frisk you oh, if you want on. to come through here. I'll just leave my. What have I got that would be considered? I can keep the grape. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna enter. <laughs> Shit, where can I put it? That's not gonna be. Can I? Security room, okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to put it down anywhere. Ah! Sorry. Hello there, sir. Cool, yeah, I just put all of my illegal items in that bin over there. for discussion. You sure you don't got something on you? Nothing gets past me, you better tell me. Okay. You are good to go. Head of security looks a bit 47 So here's well. the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or help you <gasps> contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Wool gathering mode. Worry not, Never heard Mr. That. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Folks, I've got some bad news. I need to pee. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. Can't hold on. I'll be back in a moment. Please talk amongst yourselves. All right, I'm back, and I'm muted, so uh, I spared you the the stream. All right, where were we? We were we were gonna set the wine down. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was harsh. The wine's super concentrated, and thanks to hail and frost, 
the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. Was I supposed to poison them? <laughs> said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, Guess that could have been an option. I didn't see any. fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. Excellent. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force. I guess I could have like but from doctor from We are but a what? few and yet together we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, Shit. loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah oh, yes, here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Ken's Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. <laughs> Make no mistake. Yeah, hey. This woman's hands are so poisonous wine, very funny. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely. Perhaps Jeez. Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. You're lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. No, Deanna knows who. Together we Deanna's can working make with me. Work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Rob's asking. She doesn't recognize 47. What's going on there? Yes. 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 I agree. Yes. I'm in. Ooh. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. <gasps> hey. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. And me? We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand <gasps> of her rogue agent 47. Revenge for her Sit changing here, side. I'm Balls. sorry, but you're this not getting through. Is what you will oh man. Test. Remember flowers. You never saw a thing. Oh man. Oof. Savor the taste because you never will again. And let me remind you. Shit, how are we supposed to kill that dude? Oh, I guess he's gonna go up and do a thing with Diana and then we can kill him. Oh. Tossers. Didn't poison the wine, Reuben, because I didn't see an option. All right, well, that kind of just fell into my lap, didn't it? Out in the house. 
Are we safe to go up? No. Booger. Let's have a look around. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever gates. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, Mrs. Yates was a career diplomat. Oh, yes. An international superstar. She was the Argentinian ambassador to Norway. This doesn't help. Climb up the chimney. Crap. <laughs> Is that another way in? No, it's not. This is the way. I'm gonna use an outstanding coin. Outstanding. Uh -huh. How far is it gonna come? Will this guy hear it? If he does, he's getting a a bottle of wine to the face. That's what I'm telling you. Yikes! Whee! Six and a half minutes remaining. Yikes! That is uncomfortable. Alright, keep an eye on the radar, folks. Is he a different costume? No. Guys upstairs just know everyone. I have a pistol. Oh, a pistol. I didn't have a pistol. And my coin back. Oh my god. Amazing. Ding, 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 ding. Quick! Clear the floor and get yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. How long are we are? Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, it's probably just that we have until we do this. Can I have it? Oh, I've got just. Okay, she was saying it just in case I didn't. Guns. Ah! Temptation to push. Suppressed. Different sliding sound as he. Oh, look, there's a thing on the floor so that we can kill him and wrap him up. Or well, at least that was how they were planning to do Diana. A vinch. Yes. It's not often we get a chance to really think through everything. A combat knife, yes, that will, that will work nicely. Ooh. What is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I can't read that. Uh, that weapon is different. Yes, it's got a silencer. I will drop this one over here. Is there anything else we can do? What is this room? Well, oh, it's the bathroom. Got Yates' yeah, car keys. We've got Loithel. And we're going to look up here first. Oh, wow. We have 
a pirate saber, cannonballs, a sniper rifle. I remember in Hitman 2? The weapons that you brought off location, you could then store and, and bring out to the next mission. Gunpowder. A, bro a broadsword. Who wants to see me kill him with a broadsword? I assume everyone. No! Pick up the broadsword. Put it on my back. Can I? Can I not? I have to chuck it down. <laughs> we gotta do this right, people. <laughs> Good. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now Why would I want to sit down? And blend in. When I oh. <laughs> blend in. All right. Two guards. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. What's up? Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm all ears. Holy shit! Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we are gonna... Throw. Great. Nice. Ah! Yeah, Fuck. If it's a new consolation, Dom, what are you doing, you asshole? Do it, stand there! Don't! Oh, fuck! That well done, 47. was a stylish Won't be long kill. They come looking. When you're done, hide the body. On the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. <coughs> okay, hide the body. And I believe the weapon is going to remain in his face for this. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, he's gone. All right. Fuck. I mean, I knew it was going to be great, but I didn't know it was going to be that great. Uh, these are these dead bodies. I can put another one in here. And this one, well, I guess no one's gonna fucking come and see. 
cook him. Now we're gonna hide him in the bathroom. Yeah, amazing. All right, we dress appropriately. Yeah, right. What's appropriate? Just gotta get out of here. <laughs> Dress appropriately. There's a yeah, I'm going up to the light bulb icon because I don't get it. Signature suit with gloves. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll drop that. Actually, we're trespassing, so if we're, <laughs> if we're caught... Calendar. Sapper's axe. Pick up the calendar. What? Yes. Yes. Have a go. And what we got? You know what? Let's put these weapons down. As because at some point we're going to get to a point. We're going to get to a place where we're in the right environment to just walk around, and we don't want to have a battle axe in our hands. Fire po was that fire poker? Just as a another yeah okay cool. But we're still trespassing, so we must be careful. We can't hit that gate. Oh my god, I'm really taking a stupid risk here, aren't I? That's how you hit, man. That's the exit. He really is the master of all trades. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. That's a great level. That was great. That was so far the best balance of story stuff and like just open open gameplay. I think this is going to be one of the best levels for like looser targets and challenges and stuff. Really nice. So yeah, lots of lots of uh, stuff here. We've got oh, <laughs> level one rating. Trapsmith—they're coming up with really weird like names for different playstyles. That's cool. And this is just le level based or something. I don't know. All right. N nearly the full hour. Let's see what we got here. We got tranquilizer. The calmer. <laughs> cool. So instant 
Sedation. Is that a word? Ooh, a new pistol. Fast fire rate, but low accuracy. Well, that's not really our style. We can start in the vineyard. Just flip me over. Start in the vineyard as a worker. It's going to be good. Start in the parking lot. Um, arrive by car. Innocently hang out in the parking lot. Okay, just to avoid the story stuff at the start, I guess. And we can stash something in the boathouse. I didn't see any boathouse, but okay. Cutscene! This is a pre-recorded file. And it doesn't look great. Huh? How did you know? <gasps> Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. Oh, no. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. Oh, what have you done? It's in the suit. Eat the brand neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, oh, no. 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these oh, years, yeah. I finally know. Right, yeah, we did kill our family. <laughs> you didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but... I'm That's not a spoiler for this game, by the way. All I saw was a blank slate. A weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but... People aren't meant to be controlled. No, that was like... That was a flashback thing in in, in Hitman this 2. Like, part of the cutscene. Part of the story in Hitman 2, I think. Goodbye. The new Hitman 2. The Agent. 20. 18 hit man too. Dun dun dun. Well now. Okay.